All right, so picks, eh? Picks, everybody loves a good pick video, right? Especially when a manufacturer has sent a bunch of picks to a YouTuber to tell you how great they are. But I'm gonna tell you something here, kids. I'm gonna tell you what the actual best picks out there on the market are right now. These. These Dunlop alligator picks or alligator face picks. I don't even know what they're called. The reason these are great is because they don't slip out of your hand. They feel they feel good in your hand. They don't slip out of your hand like these shiny picks, these shiny cheap picks, this sort of bullshit. It slips out of your hands. This kind of nonsense these store brand picks, all this junk. These are great. Now, depending on what size you like, and I prefer, personally, uh, somewhere between this size and the size just beneath it, which is my favorite. Anyway, I most often tend to pick up these just because I like the way they feel in my hand, but Actually, so, they make a bunch of sizes. Those are my fave. I got, I grew up playing with really thin picks. I feel like I have even thinner than that. I feel personally like I have more control over a thin pick, which is probably why I'm not a very great player. It's just what feels most comfortable in my hand. But I like a, a squidgy pick. Now, regardless of whether or not you like a squidgy pick like that, I've tried heaps of picks. I've been sent picks by companies. I'm not even going to mention their names. And I hated them. I hated them all. But, like, this is bullshit, right? So the same company, Jim Dunlop, making this sort of bullshit. Like, these are fucking junk. They slip out of your hands. But this... These are honestly the best picks I've ever used. They grip tight in your hand. You notice when they when they come to you, I'm not sure what they're made out of, but they got this like these little white spots all over them. And that's because it's grippy. It's not so grippy that you can't move it around in your hand, but it's grippy enough that it's not gonna it's not gonna fall out of your hand. That's why I like these so much. Anyway. If you haven't tried these, I tried these a few months back. I went and I bought packages of all the different sizes. So they have, I'm not sure if these are all the sizes, but I bought, I bought all the, I bought all the sizes I could get my hands on. And I'll probably never buy. As long as they keep making these, I'll keep buying these. These are my personal fave. So. If you've got a personal fav, uh, favorite uh, pick, let us know in the, uh, in the prescription, and uh, have a great day. That's it. Oh, I forgot to say almost one thing here. You know what the best thing about these picks is? You can go into any music store, <laughs> pick one up, try it out, and if you don't like it, you can try something else. But if I order a bunch of picks, from one of these best picks in the world companies, these new pick companies that are sending all the YouTubers picks to try out. Those are all fucking rubbish. They're junk. They're garbage. Not to mention, you can't roll into a music sto store and just buy those. So if you buy a package of them and lose them like you will all of your other picks, they're gone. And they tend to be more expensive. So for a pack of these, like, I don't know how many come in a pack, 20 or 30, it's like four or five bucks. It's cheap. And I assure you, from somebody who plays probably not so well, but I do play hours every day, these are by far my personal favorite. And I highly recommend you try a set. And I am in no way, shape, or form being paid by Jim Dunlop. I've never been sent anything by Dunlop. They don't even know I'm doing this video. I'm doing this as an honest recommendation for something I actually like. 
and something I would recommend to a friend if they asked. These are great. Try them.